Now there are quirky cars when it comes to graphics and there are quirky cars when it comes to proportions and the Monte Carlo from early 2000s is definitely the quirky proportions car and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take the 2001 Monte Carlo and modernize it and see what it could look like if it was built today. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Sketch Monkey here, and this is the beautiful Monte Carlo SS. It came with a V6 engine, either 180 horsepower or 200, the LS and SS trim respectively. I didn't really know this car existed until I actually moved here to the United States, because we don't have these cars in Sweden. And the first time I saw this car, this is a legend for me, because this is pretty much the car that coined what I like to call the melted cheese design and the fact that this specific car that we're going to be working on in this video is yellow doesn't really help that situation a lot but there is so much quirkiness going on in both the graphics of this car and the proportions that I want to keep and see what we can do to modernize it and create a 2021 version of the Monte Carlo SS from early 2000s. So let's have a look at this car here and let's talk about this quirkiness. The, the whole thing with this car is that there are so many irregular curves and shapes and lines in this car. For example, we have two lines right here in the middle of the bumper, uh, the fenders, one right there and one right here. And they don't really connect with each other. They don't have a nice line flow to it. As you know, I'm a fan of line flow. And you can see that this line right here, it just crashes into the side of the rear light right there, which is interesting. I think it's interesting to think about what were they thinking? Why are they adding this curvature right here that really doesn't have any effect on the line flow and the 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 overall softness of the rest of the design. It's like they just wanted to add some sort of sharpness to this design to make it not all melted cheese. We need at least two lines on the car that shows that it's actually made out of metal and not cheese. Other than that, we have the very, very weird looking C pillar here. And this is something that I'm definitely going to keep in the redesign, but part of the 90s design is that uh, part of this melted cheese style is that everything has a, a rounded corner to it. There are no sharp edges or anything like that. So that's kind of what I want to play around with here in the redesign that we're going to do. I want to take, for example, these rounded corners here that we have the radiuses in the window and sharpen this up and have it look like it's contemporary styled, which means that we need to add some sharp corners in some specific areas of the car while still keeping the quirkiness of the car. For example, in this case, we want to keep the very thin C pillar here. You can see it looks like you can almost break the car in half right there. It's so weak looking, but at the same time, it's what makes the Monte Carlo in Monte Carlo. And the rear lights here, I think they are so irregular in the shape and so blob looking that it gives the car a lot of character. And I, of course, I want to keep some resemblance to these rear lights. So what I think I'm going to do here is, as you can see, it goes from narrow in the top to a little bit uh, wider in the bottom here. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with some graphics that uh, starts sh narrow in the top and then goes into the bumper somehow and connects with a wider bottom. We can see how we can play around with that. I also want to keep this spoiler in the rear here but integrated better in the design so we have some cool shapes something like this maybe. Another really interesting line that they added on the Monte Carlo is this little sharp line down here in the bumper. You can see really the melted cheese style with this shading of the car where you have the sun coming straight from the side and you can see all the weird <laughs> curvatures that goes on in the rear of this car which is something I love and it's not the most beautiful looking car but it, it doesn't matter I just love quirky cars and weird looking cars like this the Aztec and all of these old cars from the early 2000s when they it feels like the designers had a lot of fun with experimenting and trying new styles because we were coming from the 90s era soft cars going into the 2000s when cars became a lot more sharper looking another weird thing about the Monte Carlo is 
in addition to the graphics, we're going to focus on the rear view in this redesign, by the way, but in addition to the graphics, you have the weird proportions of the car as well. And you can really see that when you look at the car from this view right here, you can see that the front right here, this part is almost as long as the rear part right there. It's like you have the green car, greenhouse centered in the middle of the car and then you have equally long hood as you have to the rear trunk and it creates a very interesting and unique looking style. That of course is also something I want to keep in this redesign. So there is a lot we're gonna do here and of course we have to change the wheels as well and we're gonna have some classy wheels. I don't want, I don't want them to take away too much from the simple styling of the Monte Carlo. I want to have them be classy, but at the same time look very, very cool on this car. And of course, a little bit bigger than they used to have back in the early 2000s here. I would say if you were to get a Monte Carlo like this from the early, to, from 2001, let's say, yellow is probably not the most beautiful color for it. I think it works really well in black though. It looks kind of cool and menacing. I think it has a lot to do with it that, that it actually hides the weird curvatures that is on the car. With that said, let's jump into the redesign here and let's see what we come up with in this modernization of the 2001 melted cheese Chevy Monte Carlo. <laughs>
the modernization, whatever you want to call it, of the 2001 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Although the shoulder line or the rear fender line that just crashes into the rear light is kind of annoying to me because I love line flow and that has that's the opposite of line flow right there because you have almost a 90 degree crash to a graphical element in the rear going straight from the fender line which is a bit annoying but at the same time it's one of these lines that you can't really change because it's such a huge part of the identity of the original or the 2001 Monte Carlo here so I wanted to add that and I wanted to annoy myself and keep that and not try to fix it uh, and make it into uh, just another car. I think it would be really cool if companies took a look back about 20-25 years and look at their popular models from that time and see if they can modernize it in some way but still keeping the original identities of the car. I think that would add so much creativity in today's range of new cars because honestly, I think they had more personality 15, 20, 25 years ago than they do today. I had a lot of fun redesigning and modernizing this Monte Carlo. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And since you're here at the end of the video, I think you did enjoy it. So hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and this is the first video you see on the channel. I'm the Sketch Monkey. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video.